Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and an application named Blink where you can use a mobile app to connect to your ESP32 and read out data, steer GPIO pins and so on. And here we can see the documentation of Blink and as you see you need your mobile phone for the Blink app. Then the Blink app connect to the Blink server and the Blink server talks with the IoT device like the ESP32. And maybe the most important part, just go to this page getting started, load your mobile application for Android or for the iPhone, get your tokens and so on, then install the Blink library for Arduino code and I use the ESP32 for example and then I show you later the example sketch. First let's have a look at our mobile app we can steer or switch LEDs on or off. Use a slider to steer the brightness of the LED as you see and we can do this with two LEDs or more and we can also switch on or off another LED and you see also the temperature reading on the top so we can also read out sensor data. So let's switch everything off again. Just use the slider again. So to configure our Blink app, we have some kind of free energy and we can use buttons, sliders and so on. And if we insert another button, so on my case, I've also used up all the free energy so I have to delete the button and then I have some spare energy left to add another GUI element. And as you see, I just configured the GPIO pin and if I use a push or switch button, here I use for the slider and virtual GPIO pin and this is virtual 1 and for the temperature I use virtual 4. So I can show you my small sketch so this all makes a little bit more sense to you. So let's have a look at the blink sketch and first of all let's do an inspection of the setup routine we just set up the serial monitor and this is just a setup to use the LED steering for the pulse width modulation because the Arduino ESP32 library don't support the analog write function yet. So this is a little workaround to use the pulse width modulation. And then we just set up the blink library and we use our authentication key that we use for our Blink application, then the Wi-Fi SSID and the Wi-Fi password. And I've written this to an extra file to the credential file. So you have to first configure this file if you want to use this example. So just write here your own settings and you are ready to use the sketch. So after setup, we just do the loop function and the loop, loop function just run the blink library and that's all. But you maybe wonder what the other functions are. So let's do this. This is for the virtual pin number two. Just do an debug output and we just calculate the duty cycle for our LED and use the LED sieve write function to set up our pulse width modulation with LED C channel zero. And the same for virtual pin number three, we just use the LED C channel number one. And on the virtual pin one or four, I just do a readout and I just use the internal temperature sensor and write the temperature and Celsius to the virtual pin 1 here and to the virtual pin 4. That's it.
So maybe just one summary up or down by using the Blink library and Blink application for your phone. It's easy to use. The graphical interface have lots of functions and so on. And you can use this for free with a simple application. But there are some downsides. Maybe your device have to stay on 24 hours if you want to use this. So and you also need 24 hours your Wi-Fi connection. You have fully rely to the Blink server and you have no other way to steer your small IoT device. And for some advanced functions you also need some Arduino programming code. So maybe some simple functions you can use out of the box. But if you want to do a little bit advanced programming then you also need to write a small Arduino sketch. And maybe some other downsides. There's for the ESP32 no SSL port available yet. And so there's no security. And as you see, if you use the GUI, you just add some buttons or sliders and then you have used up all your free credits or your free energy and you are done with one application. So thanks for clicking and watching my video. I hope you enjoy it and you maybe learn something new today. So hopefully you watched also other videos from my channel. And if you want to notified if there's a new video, just click on the subscribe button and also hit the small bell to be informed if there's a new video available. So thanks for watching today. I wish you a nice day. And bye-bye.